in Civil 3D, data obtained from LiDAR, or light detection and ranging, can be used to create point cloud objects. A LiDAR scan of a bridge on our project was performed in order to provide point cloud information to the designer. The existing bridge will not be replaced, so point cloud information could be used to check for minimum clearance requirements. Point cloud data is commonly stored in a variety of different formats. In this example, we're going to create a point cloud using an existing point cloud database. So the first step in the process is to simply um, name your point cloud and give it a style. We're then going to use an existing point cloud data, although we could use a new um, point cloud database by importing information from a variety of different formats like you see here. So an option to create a point cloud using processed point cloud formats including LAS, TXT, GeoTIFF, and PTX is also available as you saw. And creating a point cloud using this source file takes a bit longer, but you can continue working in the drawing while the point cloud process is in the background. A notification message will appear when that point cloud has been created. Now styles can be applied to view the point cloud in a manner that conveys information to the designer. So we'll take a look at a 3D view of our data. Now since we need to maintain a minimum clearance of 75 meters between the road and the bridge, we're going to use a point cloud style that shows elevation ranges. So we're going to change our style to elevation ranges and we'll set our ranges up just to have two ranges. So this is going to help us to identify potential problems that we need to address in the final design. So the elevation at the crown of the road under the bridge was provided um, to be 1615 meters. Now to visually inspect whether a minimum clearance of 75 meters will be maintained, the maximum elevation of that first range will be set to 1690, which is 1615 plus 75. And this is also then going to be the minimum range or the minimum for the second range. So using a visual evaluation of the point cloud, it does appear that minimum clearance requirements will be met.